They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man. America F1. America F1 coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. Are we rolling? We are rolling. Welcome to another yeah. episode of America F1. We're talking about the United States Grand Prix it was in Austin, Texas. Another race where Super Super Max, Super Max. How many races has he won? Though? One. That's number fifteen Jesus for Max. Christ. Fifteen races in one year. Astronomical. I'm surprised he even shows up for these races now. What's the point? If he what? Why is he even showing up to these? Well, races? he has to show up because that's what they pay him for. Yeah, but he's, it's like I don't, I don't feel I don't feel good. My pinky hurts. Yeah, I, I guess he's just going for the record, right? So he already has the record for wins in a season, oh, 15. Yeah. So, I think it was 12 or 13 or yeah, something. Yeah, well, obviously they have more races now, mm. but he's completely dominating. I can't believe he already has 50 wins, though. That's crazy. 50 wins. I thought uh, He's 26, I think. Yeah, I thought Mac, uh, he just turned 26. Yeah, with 50 um, wins. Wow. And... I thought Michael's record would never be beaten. He had 93 wins. And then when Lewis went over 100, I was just, oh, crap. This guy might win 150 races if he races till he's in his 40s. Because oh. he's never leaving Red Bull, ever. They, they just gave oh, him a new extension until 2020. I can't imagine having to deal with this guy for another 10 years. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Hamilton Leclerc get DQ'd because they're plank. Had too much wear in it. The plank's at the bottom of the car. Underneath. And it does what, Mike? Nothing. Does it add to performance? No. What does it do? It's so you don't put the car to the ground. Because before, remember, they were, they were trying. They did the, um, the stupid thing what they're doing now with the ground effects cars. And then they banned them. And then when they, in the 80s and into the 90s, People were, you know, just outright cheating. Mm -hmm. So they put that under the car and said, well, you can run the car as low as you wanted, but if you scratch the bottom of this piece of wood we're going to put on the car, we're going to DQ you. And it happened to Schumacher in 94 at Spa. He spun coming out of Puhan. 360, perfect, perfect 360, just kept going. Mm. <laughs> no, never. No, no, like, no. Didn't, didn't, didn't even, his lap time was like maybe a couple tenths slower than the yeah. one before, so... But they, they 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 disqualified him after the the race and uh, the Benetton team, which is now the the, the Alpine team, fucking cra went absolutely batshit crazy about. Yeah, because he won the race. He not won like like, like the Lewis race. came in second and Leclerc came in fifth, and they got DQ'd. Which just think and imagine how much the internet and the fans would have exploded. If Hamilton had won that race, it would have been like pan pandemonium. Panama. All I'm going to say is Panama. Oh, 20, 20, oh, oh, 24 oh, oh, oh. is going to be a better year because that Mercedes, if you've noticed, that Mercedes gets better every Yeah, race. every week. It's and then I really, kind they of brought a bunch up. of, they, I was surprised. They brought a, br a bunch of stuff to the car this week. They brought a new floor. Yeah. <clears> they brought new, new, si new side pods. Well, the thing I don't like about some people are calling Red Bull or or the FIA Red Bull FIA because they had the flexi wing and then they got rid of the flexi wing, but they didn't get fined. Max didn't lose any points. They didn't lose any points to the constructors. Years ago, Ferrari had the illegal engine. They got fined very quietly. They didn't put it out into They'd the ruin open. Their season, they had a closed door meeting with Ferrari, and nobody well, got you know to know Ferrari, what happened. You know, Ferrari uh, can they dictate the rules? They, they can have. do whatever they want. Yeah, they're, they're Ferrari. I mean, except they DQ'd Leclerc too. I see this. Uh, this this whole thing doesn't really. I, I I never liked the the stupid putting a piece of wood under the car. Anyways, like that's going to do anything. Um, they should just take that stupid thing off there and let them run the cars as low as they can get them. Really? Yeah. And just leave it at that. Yeah, I think sometimes there's just too, like, 
there was this great putting too much too many rules in. there's like too the, many rules exactly like the stupid track exactly limits. it's there's like too many rules if you put a wall next to the 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 track yeah. They're not gonna go off the track, right? One hundred percent. Right. So it's like, I think one of the one of the idiot announcers, but I think Blundell said that. Brundle uh, said that, and I'm like, well, that's the smartest thing any of these idiots have said this whole season. And it's like if there was a wall there, they wouldn't go out. They, they wouldn't go off because you'd have to. You can't hit the wall. Exactly. So the, here's the thing, and here's my rub against this whole FI thing. One too many rules. IndyCar put out something great. They put out this thing where, you know, everyone's complaining about track limits in uh, Formula One. And then IndyCar put out like a graphic or a video. Uh, they don't have they don't track have limits. Chemistry. So they have all these cars going off and off and off and kept going. And they're like, yeah, it's called racing. It's called racing. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jensen Button, Jensen Button raced in the NASCAR race this year. And he's like, there are no rules in NASCAR. None. It was race, like, it was man. Like, it was like, he's like, I've never, ever hit so many people in the history of and, my race, in, in one race. And no one cares. No one cares. That's just how it is. That's, that's racing. That's, that's, that's racing. They can, they can do that crap in a NASCAR, but they can't really do it in a, a, a Formula One car, an Indy car. But yeah, that, the track limits thing is just, it's, it's just stupid. There's it's like, too many rules. It's, yeah, it's just like, let them freaking drive. Because Max would have been on the pole, but he got his, he got his lap deleted. He got deleted. his lap deleted, yes. And all he did was he came out of the... Uh, it was the second to last turn after that big uh, AAA Apex corner, and the car slipped a little bit. It was just, you know. It was a wind because it was super windy there. Yeah, it's like super windy at the Circus Americas. Now, here, here, here's my last point on this, and, and then I'll let it go. <laughs> they took four cars in to test the, the bottom of the. They the, do that the every, every Okay, race so they then. did four. So 50% of those four, which is two, had an issue. Right, mm -hmm. they had too much wear. So if one is Lewis's car, one is Leclerc's car, wouldn't common sense say maybe we should t test Science and Russell's car? I mean, that's just common sense. All right. Well, okay. When the thing happened with Schumacher yeah. back in the day, he went over the curves. Okay. And spun. O he did a three hundred and sixty over the curves, and of of course the car is going to bottom out when it's 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 up in the air and it like hit a curb. And they still disqualified them. So this, this, it's, 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 it was a dumb rule them. It's a dumb rule now, and they need to next. Well, they need some, they, the guy who they, runs. They have to have common sense because one circuit of, of Americas is the bumpiest track in the calendar. Okay, is it's, it? it is. It's the bumpiest track. Probably that in Azerbaijan are like have lots of bumps. Well, but they, you have it. All the drivers were saying that this track was super bumpy. Then you take the curbs. Then you take the win, and some of the some of the cars are going to bottom out. That's just how it is because the cars hit hit. They flex. They they bottom out. And if you're gonna check four and two of them were bad, why didn't you just check the other sixteen cars? I okay. You know why didn't you just check all of them? Well, because they, they there's shouldn't. obviously other people had the problem and had the issue. Ferrari said the reason why it was like that was because the track was so bumpy and windy. Whatever. Mercedes said the reason why it was like that because the track was so bumpy and windy. So you think maybe the other cars might have had that same issue? They, did they check Max's car? <laughs> they did, but you know Max doesn't have to. Anyways, uh, yeah. Anyways, Max didn't it's have a a stupid rule. I, they haven't done this in a long time where they they disqualified somebody for the right? plank. Yeah. So I just think it's a dumb rule and t take the stupid thing off and let's and let's now I'm, here's my here's my conspiracy we, what need, theory. What we need is Ryan Pemberton who used to be the uh, president of of NASCAR. Yes. It's like okay, uh, have at it, boys. Have at it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like I was like oh my okay. god when he said that I was like oh shit. But that I mean but that makes it so. The thing I have a problem with with the FIA or the Red Bull FIA is Red remember Bull. Disney. Let's take Disney as an example. Disney was the greatest company in the world. Everyone wanted to go to Disneyland. Then they got really woke. And then people said, you know what? I don't want to see a cartoon like this. I don't want to see a movie that's <laughs> preaching to me about all this stuff. Yeah, sure. I just want to go to the movies. I just want to go to the theme park. And have fun. And it's have a, it's fun. It's supposed to be fun. Yes. And so people stop going to Disney movies, people stop going to Disneyland. Yeah, they'll fix and that. with Formula One, you have a great sport. Don't ruin it with too many rules. What they need to do is get Don't somebody ruin to, it. 
NASCAR, they make mistakes just like anybody else does, but they always correct it. It's always about the show. Yeah. And the fans. You think the fans are happy that finally Mercedes gets to be second and finally Leclerc is doing well and finally Ferrari's showing some pace it's, and they DQ'd him? You think the fans are happy with that? Nope. nope. So you're going to turn the fans off. If you turn the fans off, you turn the money well, off. Well, they already turned the fans off with this ridiculous show they put on where there's no actual race going on. They... That everybody, I, I, I've been saying this for a long time. All the cars should have the same engines, the same steering wheel, the same gearbox, same. Well, they all have basically the same. There's two kinds of brakes you can choose from. <clears throat> same tires. Take put off, them on super soft. Take them only. off the off the wings and have at it, boys. Then they would actually have a series. They have to but that, really. But after saying all that, the Red Bull would still win all the races. <laughs> Mercedes <laughs> and they would, it, it's it, every once in a while there'd be like. A Williams would win the race, or you know, or the McC- you know maybe the Alpine might win a race. My final point on this is, if they would have taken the points from the constructors, I would have been happy. Why? Because Charles Leclerc doesn't set up the car. He's not over there deciding the ride height. Neither does Lewis Hamilton. They have nothing to do with the ride height of the car. They have nothing to do with the little intricacies of the parts. That's the team's issue. So they should have penalized the team and not they did. the driver. <laughs> that, that's exactly. They totally penalized. No, but the they team. penalized. So, so Lewis is going <clears> for second, <throat> and he would gained a lot of points to get into second. But now the FIA is pretty much making sure that Perez, unless he gets a DQ, is going to finish second. They just need to and get. Lewis they just was not, a better driver. They need to get over they, the whole year. They need a good racing director, and they don't really have one right now. They're like. Take that, these, yeah, that guy. The, what, oh, Mo- Michael Messi. No, no, not him. But the 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 Muma, the guy who used to actually drive for Red Bull, is the president of the FIA, Suleiman. He used to drive for Red Bull. You know that? When? Yes. Well, he was an amateur driver, uh, and he drove for Red Bull, and that then not you in make Formula One. Though. No, not in Formula oh. One, but in a lower series. But then you make him. The president <laughs> of the FIA, and you don't there's think he's no going to com- have... There's no conflict of interest. <laughs> you don't think no. he's going to have an affinity to Red Bull? Yeah. Come on. Okay, right. what's the next What's next on this? Park for me. This is the, another thing I want to discuss <laughs> Sherman's about fired this. up I'm today. fired up about this. So <laughs> He's mad as hell, and he's not going to take it Park is... Explain what Park for me is for, for, for okay, the audience. Park for me is, out, in certain races, they park the cars. You're not allowed to touch them. So... In practice one, on a, on a normal race, you have practice one, you can tweak the car for practice two. In practice two, you can tweak the car for practice three. After practice three, you can... Then you have qualifying. You can tweak the car for qualifying, and then you can't touch it again. But now with the sprint races, they have practice one... And after practice one, you can't touch the car. So you can't touch the car for the sprint race. You can't touch the car for quality. You can't touch the car for the actual race. That makes no sense. See, this is why I like No sense at all. This is why I like karting so much. None of that crap goes on. You you show up, you get a brand new set of tires for uh, for practice. You you practice on your old tires. Then when qualifying happens... You, you qualify on those tires, and you only want to do three laps, and you want to save the tires for mm-hmm. the two races. So when that's over, you go in, you wait for the, the, the qualifying race, you do that race, and then you do the, the main. You don't get a trophy for the first race. <laughs> for the qualifying race, you get a trophy for the second race. Yeah. So you need to chill in the first race and not destroy your tires because they'll come back a little bit af- after 20 laps, but, yeah, this this Park for May thing is weird. Yeah, well... In 94, they made the ruling for the plank, for the for lowering of the cars. Yeah. But now they've introduced the sprint races, but they didn't change the rule. Uh-uh. So common sense would say, now that we have a, a different form of racing on certain weekends, then maybe we should look at the rules and change those rules when we have a sprint weekend. Well, I mean, should. these are just common sense things. These are just things that you do when you have and own a business. Okay, the sprint it's race thing. really frustrating. The, the one thing about the sprint race, I, I yeah. still haven't figured out why they're doing what they're doing. Because in the qualifying races, when, we were, when I was karting, where you finished in the qualifying races, where you started in the main. So, okay. 
So you'd have to go, you'd go qualify, then you'd do the qualifying race, like the sprint race they have yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Wherever you finished in the sprint race, that's where you started the main. Okay. They don't, they, why they're not doing that, I don't understand, because that would make it so much better, because you'd have to do good in the sprint race, because that's where you're going to end up starting. It, it, right, okay. okay. So but, Makes sense. Anyways, what's the next thing? <sighs> Fo- Ferrari, again... What'd they do wrong? What the strategy? <laughs> they had Leclerc on a one stop. Which was never going to work. Which was never going to work. Why was it never going to work? Because every race where it's hot, and it was hot in Austin. There's there's no way you can go one stopper. <laughs> the it, hard tires Most don't of last. these races, you can't do a one stop race. It does not work. The tire. Is because he, did he start on the hard tires or the mediums? So here, here's the yeah, he started on the the mediums, but and here's then the they problem: started science on the freaking sauce for some reason. But here's the thing: I I don't like Leclerc qualified first. You you realize this, right? Yeah. He qualified first. He was like third. He finished behind Carlos Sainz. <laughs> Carlos Sainz qualified fourth. He finished third in the race because of the DQs, and Leclerc would have finished fifth. The, it just doesn't make any sense, Ferrari. And they have so it many. It doesn't good, make any sense. They have, so many, they have such a great team. It's just bizarre. Why would you put Leclerc on a one stop and then have Carlos Sainz, who's behind him, do a regular well, two stop? I would have. If, it if, doesn't make sense, if, man. If, if it was up to me, I would have started uh, Leclerc on the soft. Yes. Knowing he was going to have to do two pit stops. Yes. Then he could preach, Mike. He could have came in, put a set of mediums yeah. on, then the last stop, put the hards on, and Ugh. just cruise to the victory. Or go soft, hard, medium Whatever. to give either, him a chance. Either way, because it turned, to make up it some turned out that the hards and the mediums were about the same, so there was no. There was no advantage to either one. So, well, no, that's not true because Lewis had the mediums on at the end of the race, and he passed up Norris, and he was catching. Yeah, but his uh, tires were newer, though. They were newer, right? Things. But I'm saying the mediums did did have a little yeah, advantage that, that over track, the hard. That track is like a sandpaper; it 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 wears the tires off. So, so if we knew that the hards and one stop wasn't going to work. How does a team <laughs> with all these people working and all this they were data... Trying, they were trying something and it just didn't work. But here's my thing. Why didn't you try that with the guy who qualified behind? Why didn't they do that with science? Why would they do that with Leclerc who qualified on pole? It doesn't <laughs> make any sense, man. And Leclerc had to be in, in that post-race room. Going, all right, all right. What an, the an, hell, an, Ferrari? An, uh, we, we can't spend too much time talking about Ferrari making the same mistake they make in every uh, race. Ferrari. What's the what's the next Mercedes? Oh shit. Are we ever 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 going to get a pit stop under 3 seconds they for Lewis been, Hamilton? They, well, they had a mis- I mean, come on. Whose stop was at the right front? That yeah, it was Lewis's stop. That was Lewis's yeah, stop. Yeah, 3.6 seconds. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Guys. And then his next stop, 3.2 seconds. I mean, why is it constantly always over three? Why can't they get into the twos like all the other teams? <laughs> I know, even the Williams team, which is, has the worst card this year. Anyways, I, I, it, that, that, that was Williams just, doesn't have the worst car. You said Williams. You meant Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Romeo, right? Alpha Romeo has the worst car? I think so. But they finished. Well, Haas. You could say Haas. You could say well, Haas Alpha Romeo. A brand new, they, they bought, you I, could say. I didn't think they were going to do this. They bought Alphatari, a, but they definitely bought, not Williams. They brought a brand new car this weekend. That was. A, and did it make any difference? Yeah, it was. It was much faster. Okay, and then what? What place did they finish? Like twelfth and thirteenth. That's 12th where they're and, supposed to finish. But what a brand new car! They can't even crack number but ten. But remember, it's it's a brand. They, in fact, they had to rent a shop in Austin. No to way. Put it all together. No way. That's how no much way. work they had to do on the shop on the car. Oh man. So I mean, it was like they remember they're a little itty bitty team. There's only like three or four hundred people on that team. They should hire us to do what? I don't like to fix the color color schemes. I like the, I, to, I, oh the the Williams looked really good. The, the Williams look great. I wish they'd even, do the gold. Even, I even, uh, even the Red, Red Bull, Bull looked pretty good with okay. the, the flag on That there. was a, uh, a fan design that. Maybe a fan should design the Haas car. <laughs> at least the I color. Liked, I at least the livery. The, it, the Haas car, they put put it in white and red like they did the after uh, Mazda Spin left. I liked that car. I okay. like a white race car because you see it. But yeah, the 
the the Williams in the Gulf livery, they should figure out a way to to have that every race. Yeah, they should do something. Because but remember, it comes down to money. So someone's paying for the must be the money. Oh, I got my money all day. But That's, the guy, uh, the Dion, guy. Dion Sanders. Remember, he sung that song. Must be the money. Must be the money. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah, sing yeah. very well. All right, so <laughs> let's go through our ten to one. So qualifying, I'm going to do where they qualified, and then I'm going to do where they finished up. So I'll do the qualifying first, and then I'll go through the ten to one, and then you can berate <laughs> berate all of them. Don't, don't don't yawn. On, Sorry. On, on on the microphone. <laughs> All right. Qualifying in tenth was uh, Piastri, which wasn't a great qualifying considering he won the sprint race. That wasn't. Uh, oh no, he didn't win the sprint race. That was before. Right? No, no, that was the last. That race. was last race. But he, Max won. The sprint Max race. won the sprint. But he qualified tenth. Then qualifying in ninth was Perez. Another horrible qualifying by Perez. Well, Pere- when's the Mexico Grand Prix? It's coming up this week. Actually, this weekend. It's this weekend. It's this weekend. <clears throat> he might retire this weekend. He might retire. This and might. Then that puts he might, in, he in might the Red make Bowl an and announcement. Liam, Liam could be in the the Alpatore Yeah. Yeah. With your boy. What's Yuki. His name? Okay, and then in eighth, uh, Ocon qualified eighth. Gasly qualified seventh. Verstappen qualified six because of the deleted lap. Science qualified fourth. Hamilton qualified third. Norris second. And Leclerc qualified on pole. Now, the difference between first and third was like... Point. It, was, it was a hundredth of a second. Like a hundredth of a second, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. Now, in the race finish, we had, because of the DQs, Logan Sargent. America's Logan Sargent finally getting a point. He got a point? He got his first One point, baby. point in Formula One. Good man, good man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's going to be in that car next year, but... He, he probably should. No. No. And but he's got money. He's got some sort of sponsor behind him, so... Same thing with Perez. Yeah. I mean, it, he has the, the, the guy who owns his Telcel. It's the biggest uh, phone company in, right, in, in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, that dude's been sponsoring him his whole life. So, in ninth place, Alexander Albon. So, Williams really? got a Albon double double came points. In ninth? Double points finish because that car wasn't very good at this track because it's it does have that big long back straightaway. Yeah, that straightaway which is, is really really long. cool, really yeah. cool. If you get because we were in that's turn twelve the, mm-hmm. at the end when we were at the MotoGP race. The first that's where I sat. The first time they came down, mm-hmm. that was the loudest sound I've ever heard in my life. It was like all twenty of them coming down, breaking at the, at, going from like a hundred. Yeah, they were going two hundred and something, two hundred and fourteen miles an hour was yeah. the top speed, and you, all you heard was that bam, 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 bam. I love that. Sound. <laughs> it was like, so great. Bring back those damn V8s. But anyway, uh, my boy, Who? Yuki. Sonoda, not only did he finish eighth, but he got put on the softs and he got the fastest lap. Yeah, baby. Yeah, nice. Very yeah, nice, let's nice. go, Yuki. I still don't think he's a very good driver. Yeah, though. but he waxed Ricardo, your boy. Yeah, but Ricardo just waxed short. him. He probably should. Waxed him, waxed he off. broke his fucking hand like he less did. than six weeks ago. Yeah, so. yeah, but Yuki's better driver. He was right probably now. driving with one hand like uh, like Kubica, Kubica was driving a couple years ago when yeah. he was in the Williams. I met him. You? I got a picture with him. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he's lucky he has his arm still attached to he his does. body. He had like 15 surgeries on that thing, too. Because he, he heard it in a Formula One car. No, right? he heard it, it in a, a, it was a rally, rally car. car. Rally car, rally car. And he hit, a, he hit a thing and it came in and basically cut his arm <laughs> It basically cut his arm off. Lance Stroll in seventh place. Really? Is that amazing? Okay. Yeah. He's having such a... Sh- I mean, the last two weeks he, he screamed... <laughs> He got out of the car. He mm. threw his steering wheel across, and then he pushed his. Uh, and then he put. Well, he, it was like a. It was like he was just pushing him to get him out of the way because yeah. he was. He was, in he was frustrated. Yeah. And uh, but no, they find his ass for that. And then he had another incident this weekend too. He did something where he was screaming on the radio or something. Well, it was strange because Alonzo was seventh, was ahead, and he said he had uh, a, a an issue like with the rear of the car, and they parked the car. But they didn't really find an issue. Like it was with, strange. Like with, with Alonzo, Alonzo yeah, he DQ'd. Like Alonzo was in seventh, and then he said that he had a, an issue with the chassis, and, and then they, they brought, they brought him they in, and then they couldn't anything? find the issue. That sucks. Yeah, I don't really understand. That's weird. And Gasly in sixth place. Really? 
Yeah. I'm telling you, I like Gasly, man. Pierre's good. That Alpine good team, though, it's such I a... know. I know. But Gasly's Anyways. a good driver. You should go and hire Ross Braun to take that Because of the over. two DQs, George Russell gets fifth place, who had a pretty uneventful race. Well, he's the original one point, so yeah, that's what Scott called him. Yeah, one point, one point George. Yeah, he had a pretty uneventful race. He should have finished seventh because Hamilton and uh, Leclerc. So when you think about it, he qualified in fifth, so he went backwards. Um... I'm, I'm still the the Mercedes. I think what they're doing this year is they're just this is all big. Just one, waiting for one, next year. One big test because yeah. they got you know their car next year is going to look just like the Red Bull on top and underneath because everyone knows what they're what the Red Bull are doing now, and their car has got they've. I would give them the best comeback of the year. It's them and McLaren. McLaren because McLaren. I mean, when they got the new tires, all of a sudden oh, that car came to life. So. Came to life. And Perez so Checo finished in fourth. Now there you go. What do you think is the difference? Why is Checo so far behind Max as far as in performance? The car, the car is designed for Max, not for him. He's getting. It's like they can't. They can't do anything to that car. So one of the idiot uh, announcers said that the the car um, has it doesn't turn in that well. Mm-hmm. Um, so and Max is able to deal with it better than Perez's. So it's do you like, think if somebody else like just let I'm just take throwing out some names that doesn't really mean anything, but I'm gonna throw out Hamilton, uh Alonzo, Norris, and Leclerc, do you think they would be closer to Max oh, in yeah. that car? And if they put Richardo back in the car next year, he's gonna be right there with him. Okay. So and, when when he was on the team, mm-hmm. they were always a tenth apart. That's what you want from your two drivers. You want it has to be a tenth. If it's more than that, then it's like, oh well that's like a bunch of times this year, he's been half a second or a second behind. Yeah, like, like a half. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is too but much, right? He doesn't like the car. He, the car does not suit his driving style. Even though Checo's a super smooth driver, um, he doesn't wear the tires off the car. But every year he's been at Red Bull, they've won. They've the won the championship. So that's what they were looking for. In third place, because of the DQs again, the smooth. Operator. Oh, Carlos got third? Sainz got third. But he didn't get to be on the podium, right? No, because <laughs> it's after the fact, Mike. It's after the fact. Yeah, in the history books, it'll say three. <laughs> in second place, uh, because of Hamilton getting DQ'd, Lando Calrissian Norris. Calrissian? Calrissian, remember for Star Wars? No. Empire Strikes Back? He was, no. Actually, Empire Strikes Back. Lando Calrissian. I think I've seen that movie once. You need, you need to watch that movie again. It was really good. Is that the one where they dance with the, the, the little bears at the end? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. So Empire Strikes Back was okay, on I don't, I don't care. It was the ice ice planet. Oh, it was, oh you have God. to watch that one. Like, it's really oh good. God. I loved it. It's really good episode. And Sherman was one of those kids from our generation who's like, I've seen Star Wars 480 times. Yeah, 100%. Because his mom, his mom dropped him off at the movie theater on yeah. Saturday and picked him up yeah. Monday morning to take him to school. And, and I'd just, watch it like three, four times in one day. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Because you're an idiot. Anyways. Star Wars rocks. Rocks. Um, and of course, in first place. Who won the race? Super Max first step in. Now the problem I have with Max is on the radio he called his car shit because the, he was having problems with the brakes. <laughs> now says, he always says the car sucks. Now here is I love, a car. I, know, I love his, his his engineer. Yeah, he talks to him like he's the schoolmaster. He's like. No, no, no! Come on, get back, get back to work! Come on, let's do this. Well, Max was complaining a lot actually in this. He race. always he this, was complaining about the brakes. The driver's supposed to complain. That's his fucking job. Period. If he's not whining all the time, mm-hmm. then you get, you're doing something wrong with the car. Okay. He should be complaining every second of every lap. But this, do you think this is the best car ever made compared no. to ninety fours? No, uh, no, two thousand and four. Two thousand and four Ferrari and the eighty eight McLaren. I mean, eighty eight. The 88 McLaren. Who drove that one? Senna? Senna and uh, Prost. Prost. So they won all the fucking races except for one. <laughs> Literally, they were. Well, Red Bulls won all the races except for one. Who, and there's more races. Who won, the, who won the one race? The smooth operator, dude, in Singapore. Science won the Singapore. Singa- race? Science sure. won a race, dude. What's wrong with you? Huh. Okay. What's wrong with you? When, oh, that's right. That's right. Because the Red Bulls. 
they were they, the front of the car was sliding more than usual. Yeah, they couldn't, and they get, they couldn't get it in the back. They couldn't get them. They couldn't get that car hooked up for some reason. And that was right after the flexi wing thing. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah okay. But no one else has won a race. It's Other just than, Perez. He won the Monaco. Well, but right? that's all the same team. I'm saying that no other. Usually, when you have a dominant car, at least some of the other teams win a race or two. Yeah. No one's. I mean, Hamilton got close on this one at the end, but I still don't see anybody winning another well, race. Well, if if the fucking Mercedes team don't come up with a new a car to compete with this car next year, I don't think Lewis will ever win another race unless they. A rock falls from outer space and hits for stupid in the head. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> Lewis has to win. He doesn't have to win shit. He's already won. <laughs> he has to win another race before he leaves. How many race wins does he have? 103 or 104 Jesus or something like Christ. that. And f- seven championships? Seven champ. Well, eight, but yeah, seven. <laughs> no, he did not win that one. I know we keep teasing about it. Max for stupid won the 2001 championship. Deal with it. No, he didn't. but no one thought 2021. It was, actually, was it 21? 21. Okay. We're in the 20s. All right, all right. Oh, Anyways, so, yeah. what did I say? You said 2001. Space oh, Odyssey. Yeah. I don't even think Max oh, was Max born then. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he's 26. So yes, no, he was, he was born. born in. Oh yeah, he's I was born in the 90s. 90s. Okay. Late 90s. What's next? That is it for the United States Grand Prix review. Upcoming is. Mexico, and that will be this week, the Mexican Grand Prix, which is sold out. You can actually it's probably... sold out? Oh, yeah. Really? You can... It I thought they were having out. problems putting people butts in the seats there. In Mexico? Yeah. No, it's been sold out for a long time. You can buy tickets on, like, StubHub. That'd be a good race to go to. I like, the, I like the little... When you come in and they have the grandstands over... Oh, and the old baseball that. stadium? Yeah, I like yeah. that part. Yeah. And then it'd be cool to go, like you know, to the ruins, the Aztec ruins, and stuff. The like Indy that. cars did; they were the first ones to do that drive through the stadium bit, because they that used to be the old baseball stadium, and then they built the new baseball stadium at two, turn one. So okay, um, yeah, my prediction is uh, Perez is going to retire. Okay, because there's Why? a lot of rumors around saying he's going to quit. There are. Um, because, yeah, when, when your time is up, your time is up. Because if that, if that happens, then all the cards fall in place for Richardo to go back to Red Bull. Liam. But if he quits, he doesn't get his... Because he's, he's, he's got signed one for one more year. So if he quits, he doesn't get that. Wouldn't it be better to get fired so he can get the money like uh, no. like Danny Rick did? No. Just, what do you mean? Just get, just, he's got money. Dude, you know how much money these people make? I mean, he's making $10 million a year being driver number two. Yeah. Plus, he gets all the money from... He, I'm sure he's on TV in Mexico every 15 seconds selling Telemex. Um, that's probably another 10 or $15 million a year. I mean, he's got money. If I were him, I wouldn't quit. I'd make them fire it's me. Just a, it's just a rumor, though. I'm like, It's just a rumor. I wouldn't quit only because he's not going to... Even if he only won two races this year, maybe he'll win one more. Let's say he wins three. I don't know. It doesn't look like he will because he's so far off the pace. Um, he might win this weekend. But he knows. might win one more. But that's the only chance he's going to have of winning You know, a couple races uh, if, in if, his career with Red Bull. Well, he's he's been in Formula One since... He's been, he's been around. 14, 15 years? Yeah. He's, he's probably going to retire. That's what I'm thinking. Because he just had a new baby, too. Yeah, and I think that the uh, Red Bull want Richardo back in the car. You know, they, they were not happy when he left. Yeah. And, well, and they drove him and out. And they got, they got him back for a song. You know, they're not really paying him anything. Yeah, they drove him out, remember? Because they were favoring... No, they, didn't. they were favoring Max, and that's when they he always, left. They're always going to favor but, Max, so what? But... <sighs> no, he made a mistake. He could have won a championship if he would have stayed at Red Bull. One of these championships, he's just won. I think Richardo would have won one. Oh, that, that that they won with Perez? Yeah, they were they were never going to win a championship with Perez. What do you mean? Because they think, did win a championship with Perez. No, no, no. I mean the point I'm trying to make is Ricardo is a, a better driver than Perez. Yeah, and definitely. He, he might have if he would have stayed at Red Bull instead of get mad and go. But he got paid so much goddamn money to go to Alpine um, or Renault at the time. Renault yeah, at the time. I think they were paying him twenty five million. Twenty? Yeah, he got paid. Paid. That's like he went from like ten to twenty five. Yeah. So, Leaving was a good idea, but then the second when he went to McLaren, I always thought that was a dumb decision. But he was still probably getting twenty five million. To... He got paid really well. Yeah, so he... no one, no one feels sorry for. No, I don't feel sorry for, for 
Ricardo. I mean, he, he, he's not even driving this year, and he's still making like twenty five million or something. Like that. <laughs> broke so he's on. He's always he's and he's got a house in Monaco. He's got a a pimped out house in L.A. Mm. Uh, that's on a hill with a swimming pool and everything. Just you could stay there. You could live there easy. Well, they need to bring him back because they need you know driver well, they, recognition. They, well, they all, he's one of the favorites on the grid, so that's why he's really has to be in a car. Uh, like know? I said, I think it was a mistake him leaving the team, but if Perez retires, they're going to put him in the car and they'll put Liam in, in the in And the that will work out for everybody. Yeah. Because uh, then if that happens, then Sargent probably keeps his seat. I'm going to say that this week, Norris or Hamilton's going to win. Nah. I'm just going to go out on a limb and nah, say No, this is going to be, a, this is a Red Bull track because it's got the huge front straightaway. Mm-hmm. Not going to happen? That's gonna, he's going to be on the pole by like a second ahead okay. of everybody. It's going right. to be a snooze fest. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on another edition of America F1. Keep on racing, everybody. Keep on trucking.